Ned Hanlon competed in a rowing competition in Philadelphia, where he did go on to win first prize. He brought a lot of pride and joy to our city. We were so proud of him for winning. And the Toronto Police, now they were proud of him too. So much so that they said, hey Ned, you know what? Don't worry about all the illegal things you were doing before. Come on home. So they welcomed him back with warm open arms. And Ned did not face any criminal charges for any of the illegal things that he was doing before. I guess that's kind of how you got away with things back in the day. If you were a champion in your sport, you could get away with some pretty grimy things. So if you do want to learn more about Ned Hanlon's story, there is a movie on his life. It's called The Boy in Blue, and it stars Nicolas Cage. Now, I'm kind of curious, do we have any baseball fans on board? I'm sure we do have a few. Yes, no, maybe? If we do, this one's for you. Now, Hanlon Boyce is famously known to have a baseball stadium on it until 1946. And it's famously known to be the place where Babe Ruth made his first professional home. So, at the time he was 19 years old, he played for the Providence Braves. And it's said that he hit the baseball so hard that it would have been a stadium. And it's right here in the waters of Lake Ontario. Now, the baseball that he played for the Providence Braves was covered in the water. Now friends, you will notice a lot of them are lying. And one of 